Vlog number 102, Friday, February 23rd, 2024, 15 a.m. Turn it to the Today Show as they usually do. Today is a very strange day. My parents are coming down, so it's going to be a little bit shorter of a vlog. But the real story about today is I don't have the lecture class that starts at 10 o'clock, usually. So I, so basically, I don't have to go in until literally 10.40. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I'm still here another 2 hours and 30 minutes be able to watch the Kelly and Mark show, which is something I haven't done in like three or four months, honestly, because I haven't been able to, you know, the one time I've actually watched it, I wasn't able to watch the start of it, but I was able to watch the end of it. The start of it, I've been able, I've never been able to watch it in a long time, so I'm excited for that. I'm just gonna sit here for probably an hour. I'm gonna do some more cleaning. You know, I still have to move all this stuff over here and get rid of some stuff, but not done yet. The clothes have, have to be moved. Still a lot of work to do, but for now, we'll just see you for an hour. And at 9 o'clock, we'll turn the prices right on. All right, it's 10.34, no new update or anything. But I was just going to say, my head is really, really hurting right now. And something very strange happened. It was like 8.10. And I heard this just huge crash, huge crash. Like something massive fell. I thought like my oven fell or my printer fell. Something huge went. And it was so so loud it kind of made my head hurt because my head was not hurting at that time but i don't know what it was that made that sound but i looked around there's nothing that fell so it must have been somewhere else and if somewhere else made that loud of a noise it must have been massive so i don't know what it was but still watching the today show nine o'clock price is right here we go everybody welcome back jimmy fallon i've missed you new episodes coming out monday I'm going to take a shower pretty soon. My head is really starting to hurt since I don't have to go into the school till like 1030. I mean, I still got an hour and a half, so I think I'm going to do that around 910 or whatever. I don't know. All right, it's 936. Just moved from the bed. It is now time to take a shower, then watch the Kelly and Mark show at 10, and then I'll leave at 1040. All right, it's 953. Just got out of the shower. The Mark and Kelly show starts in about seven minutes. So I'm just going to start moving stuff around like I said I was going to do. You know, there's still a ton of stuff over here in this section. Over here looks pretty good, but there's still a lot to do. So I gotta get to it. I leave at 10.40 today. I actually think I'm about 10.35. I don't know what time I'm gonna leave, but let's get to work again. It's time. I haven't heard this intro in forever. I mean, this was my go-to show in the morning at 10 o'clock every day. And then, you know, I started the job at the school, couldn't watch it. Now, I'm, now that I'm at the college, I obviously cannot watch it. Guy Fieri! Oh yes, I'm watching this at the right time. I'm excited for this. You know, normally I'm not excited for a show, but I never get to watch this. And this is gonna be my one time. I'm not gonna be able to watch this anytime after this. Maybe spring break, but this is rare. I'm not gonna be able to watch this anytime soon. So, got to enjoy it. All right, it's 10.05, still enjoying the Kelly and Mark show. But I am currently moving everything around. I moved my couch into the bathroom, table, everything over here. It's now wide open. You can see all the trash. That's kind of why I wanted to move things around. My lights kind of have to go back up over there, but. Progress is being made, I like this so far. All right, it's 10.38, I am now going to leave, go to the school for one class, then my parents will get here and I will not vlog anything. That's gonna go on until about five o'clock, honestly. I'm not quite sure, but then I'll pick the vlog back up after that. But I mean, everything's ready except the bathroom and I'll do that when I come back. But man, it's, it is crazy how open it is in here. It's like I just moved in yesterday. I mean, it's crazy. This is crazy, there's nothing here, but. Watching the Kelly and Marshall that got Guy Fieri, which who doesn't like Guy Fieri? Sounds pretty cool, but time to head to the school. There's a class from 11 to 11.50 because the first one got canceled. I like it when that class canceled. I've never been here at this time before, ever. Normally, normally I'm still at the school because, I mean, I'm watching the Kelly and Mark show with Guy Fieri right now, and I should be at the school. It's so cool. It's, it's time to head out. It looks like it's a sunny day, so let's go. All right, it's 12.09, just got back. That was not a very fun class. I had to figure out what I was gonna write for my paper. Got a new idea from the teacher, but it's due on Monday, so thanks. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow because I'm watching basketball, maybe Sunday. My parents aren't gonna be here for about an hour, so I got some time. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna clean the bathroom now because it is completely destroyed. And then I'll probably move over to the couch. And then if I have time, play an NBA game. If not, I'll just move to the bed, do that rotation till I get here. All right, it's 12.29, just got done with the bathroom and hung up my Grizz flag. It is officially complete. A lot different than it was three days ago. You walk in, nothing's here anymore. Nothing against the wall. You come in, 
There's just nothing anywhere. The bathroom, perfectly fine. Come and turn this way. I mean, it is so unbelievably clean right now. It's shocking. It is absolutely shocking right now. I mean, this is awesome. It literally feels like I just moved in. Got the Grizz flag set up. It went over the lights, but that doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna go sit on the bed watching Spider-Man 2. You can't see it because the glare. I'll probably close the window and then I'll let you know when I'm about to leave. Okay, it's 12.57, just moved over from the bed. Parents are still about 35 minutes away, so I have time to play an NBA game. Coming off a heartbreaking loss to the Nets where I had a chance to win it by 15, and I ended up only winning by 14, so I'm giving up on the Nets for now. Going to the all-time Knicks. Hopefully, I can win by 15. Is it going to happen? Or the likely? Probably not. All right, it's 129. Just got done playing the game. I have absolutely no clue what to say. That was dominating. I have struggled so much to win by, even win these all-time domination games. I went on the road to New York and just pummeled them. 74 to 41. I finally shot the ball well. I mean, this was unbelievable. My defensive performance was absolutely dominant. I mean, I'm, I'm stunned that I just did that. This was one of the most dominating games I've ever played. Score 74 points, win 74-41 against that talented of a team and a, and a team I've been struggling against. I mean, you look, the first quarter... I mean, I was shooting the ball really well, but I was losing 18-15, and I wasn't defending anybody. The second quarter came, I went on a 23 run to start it, went up 26-8. to Halftime, I had a 15-point lead. Third quarter came, outscored them 16-10, and then fourth quarter, 17-5. And notice the second and fourth quarter, where my defense was the best, I only allowed 13 points with my bench today. And the big th change I made was instead of having Mark Gasol be a starter, Sean Bradley on the bench, I switched him. I put Sean Bradley in at center to start and Mark Gasol the bench. That worked f phenomenally. 74 to 41. What a dominating game. Just looked, my parents are about 15 minutes away. So I'm going to go sit on the, the bed now. And then when they get here, I will pick up the camera one last time and then probably pick up the vlog later tonight. All right, it's 1.40. They just texted me. They are almost here. So I'm going to stop the vlogging for right now. I might pick the vlog back up. I'm not sure when, probably around 5 to 6 o'clock tonight. But in case you were wondering, that is what I'll be doing for the next four hours. All right, it's 5.43. Just got back watching the Eureka game. The winner of this game will head to the championship tomorrow. I was listening to it on the radio. And Eureka, I think, is now only down by two. I mean, this is like three to four minutes behind. So I turned off the radio broadcast. I know Eureka's losing right now. This is a team they should not lose to. I mean, they're miles better than Anaconda. I mean, Arlie, the team they beat yesterday is probably the third best team in this division. So, I mean, if they can beat them, there's no reason they should lose to Arlie. I mean, Arlie, fun fact about Arlie right now is they have two made free throws. All their baskets are made threes except for one. They have relied heavily on the three ball today. This is This three goes in. It does. Okay, so this is where I was left off at. Eureka down two. Gonna keep watching this now. Eureka, come on, man. Don't lose this game. I mean, if they if they make if they win this game and make it to the championship, no matter what happens in the championship tomorrow, they are going to state. So this is a very big game. If they don't win this game, they have to play like two more games and win both of them to get third place and get to state that way. But I mean, it's much more easy if they can win this game. Right now, though, not looking too good. Come on, Eureka, down two. Six minutes to go. Finish this thing. I just realized that Sean Rainey's at this game. Guy that's on SWX. Looks like, if, you know, if you check out SWX tonight, we're going to see Rainey talking about this Eureka game. That's pretty cool. Only it's going to be cool, though, if we win this game. Let's go. Goes inside layups. Good. Eureka's got the lead. It's 37-35. They were down by five at the end of the third quarter. Anaconda, I don't think, has scored yet. Three. Missed it. He airballed it. They are trying so hard for the threes. Guy stepped out of bounds before he threw it. Ah, oh, Lions finished this thing. You are headed to state. You win this game. For as a bat, I mean, we're dominant in football. Basketball, not so much. This is huge if we can get to state. Come on, Lions. Finish it off. Three. This is big. Missed it. Rebound. Yes. Nice rebound. That's a foul. Yes. They're turning the ball over now. Here we go. Make something happen, Lions. Good. Nice pump fake. Two. No. Rebound. No. Down low. Kick out for three. Anaconda. 
has shot almost exclusively threes or made them good steal. Oh man, out of bounds. A reminder, Anaconda has only made one two today. All of the rest have been either a three throw or a three inside layup blocked. They're gonna call a foul, of course they are. Both free throws are good. It's 37-37. Eureka's offense did not come to play today. We put up almost 70 points yesterday. Today, we're not scoring. Man, we look like the Grizz in a way. Three for the lead. This one's big. Missed it badly. And they're going to call another foul on us. How many fouls are they going to call on this this game? I've yet to see one foul called on these guys. Not one. Man, come on, refs. Can you make it a little less one-sided? Come on, Eureka. Get a stop here. This is huge. This is to get to state if in case you forgot, Lions. Where's the offense at? Oh, great. Still are not doing anything. A two-pointer. And, of course, he goes. It goes down. 57 seconds to go. Eureka trails 39-37. Only the second two of the game for Anaconda. Now Eureka's got to get something going here. Down to 40 seconds. Two-man game inside. Almost turned it over. Double teamed. Timeout Eureka. Let's see what we drew up coming out of the timeout. Three for the lead. It's good. Eureka leads 40, 39, 25 seconds to go. Play defense. And now Anaconda calls timeout. Big time three for the Lions. Shawcock is turned off. Anaconda can win it with any basket. Oh no. Play defense Lions. This is for a trip to state. Come on, Eureka, play defense. Come on, get a stop here. They're gonna go inside. Three, no, it goes inside. Two, they call a foul again. And two free throws coming for Anaconda. You gotta be kidding me right now, man. Two free throws. Could potentially give him the lead, first one on the way. And he missed it. High schoolers in their free throws. Never a guarantee, never a guarantee. I think Eureka just called timeout. All Anaconda can do now is tie it up. This one's coming down to the end. Come on, Eureka. Come on, miss this free throw. You ain't got it in you. Got it. 40 to 40, Eureka's got nine seconds. We're either gonna head to overtime. Foul them. I don't know how many fouls. Does this, is this right? Do they only have one foul? Are you serious? They have one foul the entire second half. That sure is likely. Come on, man. Six seconds to go now. 6.7 seconds. What have we drawn up coming out of the timeout? Come on, Lions. They foul again. Here comes the foul game, and this is the benefit of somehow not fouling all game long. I highly doubt they have only two fouls in the entire second half. Man, come on, Lions. Let's go. I don't want this game to go to overtime. I'm already scared enough. I don't think I can handle overtime. Come on, Lions. Five seconds to go. They're fouling at every chance they get. Inbound. Here we go. For the win. It's blocked. And we're headed to overtime in Pablo. 40 to 40. Man. I don't know why, but it feels like every single person in this gym, once again, is cheering for the opposition. I don't know why nobody likes Eureka. There's not many people cheering for the Lions right now. Missed the second free throw. Good job. Eureka's yet to score here in overtime. Only two minutes to go. Got to get this offense going. Cut, missed a couple layups. I haven't even attempted a three here in overtime. We've turned the ball over multiple times. Finally, they call a foul. Right, I'm bringing the camera back out. Two minutes to go. Here we go. Come on, Lions. Drives inside. They've yet to score here in overtime. Almost turned it over there. Good pass. They turn it over again. Boy, Eureka's offense has just gone to a standstill tonight. They are not doing anything right now. Three minutes in to overtime and no points for the Eureka Lions. No baskets whatsoever. This zone is not working. They're, here we go. Right as I say that. They turn, don't turn it over again. Oh my, they are just, come on, ref. This is unbelievable right now. Unbelievable. Now the refs are giving the game away. Gotta be kidding me. That's awful, man. I mean, that's... You gotta be kidding me, Raph. Oh, I hear some defense chants. That's the first time in two games I've heard those. Be nice if we gotta have some defense, because we've only given up one point in overtime, and yet we're still somehow losing. Come on. No. No. Missed it. Where's the rebound? Boy, now it looks exactly like the Grizz. Now they're not boxing out. Eureka down 43-40. 
Unbelievable. If you can't score in overtime, you don't deserve to win. You got to do something here, Lions. Two inside. How on earth did that shot go in? Lions have to play defense here. 39 seconds to go. Down by one. Why do we always got to play in such close games? Yesterday was close. So was today. Defense. I don't know what time. I don't know how much time is on the shot clock because it doesn't say. Do they have to foul? Honestly, I have no idea right now. I'm guessing no because we haven't fouled yet. Down to 15 seconds. Now they're going to drive inside. Did they call a foul again? These fouls are getting out of hand, man. Seriously, where on earth are all the fouls on them today? They've called nothing in favor of us. Absolutely nothing. Come on, man. If he makes both of these, we'll see if Anthony Conda does the patented foul one up three strategy. He's got to make both of them first. Now, of course, he probably will. 44 42. Building is about ready to explode as Anaconda is probably going to win the game. What I've heard about is if Eureka loses this game, which it looks like they're going to right now, made them both. Eureka calls timeout. How on earth are we losing to a team we should beat? There's nothing more annoying in sports when you should beat a team and you just don't. Nothing more annoying. Five fouls is the bonus? Really? First free throw on the way. Got it. Man, come on. What I was saying earlier is if Eureka does lose this game, they play tomorrow, and it's going to be against a pretty bad team that they should destroy. And then they're going to have to win again against R. Lee. So we might have, to, we might have a rematch with R. Lee to get to state. Missed a second free throw. Oh, no. Now if they make two free throws, this game's going to be over. The collapse. Eureka was up 8 nothing. They're up 12-5 after the first quarter. Then managed to only score four points in the second quarter. Was down at halftime by three. Down at the end of the third quarter by five. Took the lead. Completely blew it at the end of the fourth quarter. Now here in overtime. Anaconda with two made free throws is more than likely going to walk out of here with a win. Missed the first. Big time. So this game not over yet, but you already know Anaconda is going to foul. If they're up by three. Got to make this free throw first. Eureka calls timeout. How many timeouts do we have? It feels like we called five timeouts today. Second free throw on the way. It missed as well. Eureka's got a chance. Down two, three, two, one for the win. It's no good. And Anaconda wins. And the Eureka Lions blow it. And they will now have to win two games to make it to state. Eureka had the game in hand, and they just blew it. Went up 8-0. And Anaconda wins 45-43 Lions on the verge of going home. Anaconda's headed to state no matter what happens tomorrow. And Eureka, that's just sad, man. That is just sad. They blew it. They absolutely blew it. And my feed cut off. Doesn't matter. Game's over anyway. All right, it's 629. It's now time to take a shower, and then when I get out of it, I will make popcorn and begin the night. Okay, everybody, it's 659. Just got out of the shower. I am now making my popcorn. But since my parents came by, I told them to bring me something. This right here is Flava Call. I once watched a video on YouTube called How to Make Movie Theater Popcorn at Home by the legendary King of Random. Unfortunately, it was not Grant. Fortunately, rest in peace, Grant Thompson. The guy that really got me going on the King of Random. This was the new guy. That was This was Nate after him. And he showed how to make a great popcorn, like a movie theater. So I was like, okay, let's try this out. So I went and got this flavor call. I don't have any of the other ingredients, so I'm not able to make what he showed me. But I'm going to try this. I know this is not this is not homemade popcorn. This is just, you know, microwave popcorn, so it probably won't have any taste. But I have an entire thing of flavor call, so I'm not just going to let it sit out. So I'm actually going to dump some of this on the popcorn. I don't know how this is going to taste or if it's going to taste good or not. I'm not going to use a lot. And immediately I use way too much. Okay, that's probably good. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. I never do this, but I don't want to add way too much. So I need this to do two hands, but... Add some flavor call, maybe that'll make it better. Who knows? All right, it's seven o'clock. Just made the popcorn as I just showed you. Added some flavor call. Hopefully, that enhances the flavor. Honestly, it probably won't because this is microwave popcorn and not just some homemade popcorn that you normally would put this on. 
Tune to the Duquesne Fordham game. The Lakers play at 8 o'clock today, so I'll watch that game. They play the Spurs. Please beat the Spurs. Do not lose again, man, Lakers. You got killed last night. Rebound tonight. You're home at the Staples Center. Do not lose to the San Antonio Spurs, because if you do, we have a serious problem on our hands. But for now, we're just going to watch the Dayton game, and then at 8 o'clock, it's time for the Lakers. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Just turned it. What? Emergency alert system? What? Effective till 9 p.m. That better not be it. What's it doing? Coordinated monthly test? Oh, come on. No, it's just a test. Apparently, the Lakers don't play till 8.30, so I'm going to watch the Nevada-San Jose State game on FS1 until 8.30. And then 8.30, I will turn the Lakers game on. Better win, Lakers. Better win. This guy was on AGT. I love this guy. Brian King Joseph is performing the national anthem at the Lakers game. I remember watching this guy on AGT. I love this guy, man. Good job, Lakers, for choosing someone pretty good. Lakers Spurs coming up next. I don't get to watch the Spurs very much, but this I'm happy about. Victor Wembanyama. Don't get to watch much of him, but hopefully this guy doesn't put on a show tonight, but... It's been fun to watch so far this year. You are looking live at downtown Los Angeles. It's the San Antonio Spurs and the Los Angeles Lakers live from the Staples Center. What a view that is. Dream City cannot wait to get there. Just a matter of time, man. But here we go, Lakers, Spurs. Do this thing, Lakers. Coming off a rough loss. Just bounce back. Here's your starting lineups. LeBron James back in the lineup. AD playing as well. He was listed as questionable. No excuse for this game. You got LeBron. You got AD. Playing against a pretty bad Spurs team. Handle business, Lakers, tonight. Bounce back. Victor Wembanyama just stuffed Austin Reeves. Reeves, you can't be taking layups against this guy. This guy will block your shot. I mean, this guy's like nine feet tall. Can't be doing that today. Guys, I was just looking over there. If you could see the wire. That tape is awful. You can look behind me. That is coming down. That's coming down. Tape does not stick to anything. But I just realized something, guys, that I forgot to tell you guys. Remember when I got up this morning and I said there was this extremely loud noise, but I couldn't find anything out of place. So I was like, well, it must not have been me. Check out this. By the way, I went to, um, I forgot to mention this also, man. I forgot to mention a lot of things. I went to McDonald's. I got some chicken nuggets and a high tea orange. That's going to be tomorrow. But look at what happened. My entire shelf came down. That was the sound in the morning that I heard. I knew I heard something that was in here. This shelf came down and it was so, so loud. You can see all this stuff everywhere. I was just gonna say that, I forgot to mention that, but that's what the loud noise was that I was confused with. But Lakers so far, AD, nice move. Lakers and Spurs tied at five. Well, that's not good. Victor Weminyama, the basically the only bright spot of the Spurs has 11 points. And he's made two threes. Not good. Lakers just got to keep pace, but got to stop Victor Wembanyama, man. This guy is good. If he's making threes, it'd be a huge problem. Lakers on a 14-0 run over the last three minutes. They lead 23-15. Keep this going, Lakers. All right, it's 9:09. That's going to do it for the first quarter. Lakers were just up 30-19. to San Antonio goes on a 7-0 run. Lakers up 30-26. The biggest difference has been Victor Wembanyama when he's been on the court. He has been dominant. The Lakers really only built their lead when he was out of the game. As soon as he came back in, San Antonio closed deficit. Los Angeles, though, they still lead 30-26 after one. All right, 9-20. Lakers back up by nine. I just put the French fries in the microwave. This is what I ended up getting today. In case you didn't know, I didn't say anything. I went to the Tamarack Brewing Company, got a pizza and some French fries. I also went to Winco, got some ketchup. So now I can have ketchup with French fries, which is just perfect because... I used to not be able to eat the french fries because I was always out of ketchup. But now that I got the ketchup, I can eat these french fries. So I'm going to eat these probably till 10 o'clock, then I'll put them away. I need to watch the Lakers game. I cannot stay when this TV does this. Three seconds to go. AD. Fouled. It quit working, so I turned it back on, and all of a sudden now there's captions on the screen. And it's still doing this nonsense slow motion. It never works. Why does this can't, this can't work for a day straight? Why is it in slow? Why are the captions on the screen now? They're not even on the iPad. Why? Lakers are going to be up at halftime, but I am so annoyed trying to figure this out. Why are there captions on the screen? Of course, it goes in slow motion again. Can't airplay anything to this TV without it having no problems. 
Always gotta have some kind of problem. All right, it's 10.03, there's downtown Los Angeles once again, such a good view. It's so, so good. Still the third quarter's Lakers pretty much in control of this game. I do not think they're going to lose this game at all. I mean, the only question is really, are they gonna keep them under 111 points and is everybody gonna be walking out with tacos? Well, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get really annoyed right now. The game keeps doing this every time. I just fixed this. Lakers up 97-90 after the third quarter, but once again, I'm getting annoyed by the TV doing this. It does, it la does, it works perfectly for like two minutes, and it works perfectly for like two minutes, and then stops working again. I don't know why it's doing this. Lakers up 97-90. Finish this thing out, Lakers. San Antonio made this game way close. Lakers were just up by 18 with like five minutes to go. They all of a sudden go on a shooting rampage. Seems like the Lakers just shut things down. Took out LeBron. Five point win. It was a much more dominant win than that. They dominated, absolutely dominated tonight. San Antonio, you got nothing for the Lakers. LeBron puts up 30 points. Dominant for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers win. Good job, Lakers. All right, it's 10.55. That's going to do it. Lakers game just ended, turned it to Sports Center. Of course, we're going to talk about the Cowboys because when do they not talk about those guys? But I, didn't think, I don't think I've shown you this yet. I was actually wearing my black Lakers jersey because they're wearing their purple jersey, so... I got this black one because it kind of is close. Not really, but I was I only wear my Lakers yellow jersey when they're wearing the yellow jerseys. This tape is the worst thing to hang up a flag. I just set that back up, and once again, it's already back down again. I'll get up in the morning, and it's going to be completely on the ground. And that's why I took it down the first time, but hopefully you enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you tomorrow. It's February 23rd. Who would have even imagined they're talking to the greatest athlete of all time, Joey Chestnut is on Sports Center. Are you kidding me? Joey Joss Chestnut is on Sports Center. He's taking on the world champion competitive eater wonderful pistachios get cracking eating competition. He's gonna be eating pistachios now? I can't believe Joey Chestnut's on my screen right now. Greatest athlete of all time. No debate, 16 time champion. There's never been another athlete more dominant at his sport than Joey Chestnut, never. I can't believe Joey, I, I, what a way to end the night, man. Joey Chestnut is on Sports Center. That is truly unbelievable. What a way to end the night. See you tomorrow.